Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here today to do a metalhead box an opening or opening. Unboxing. Unboxing. Not yeah. an opening. Well, what the hell is an, an opening would be putting things back into the box. Yeah. Alright, no, that's not what we're doing. The things are already in the box. We're taking the things out of the box. By the way, this is the box for September. I know we already balls deep into October, but what happened was his box came in uh, late September, early October, like October 1st or 2nd mm. around that time. And then mine took a little bit longer. So when his show up, I decided that let's wait and see if mine shows up and then we can do the video together. Because one, one month, I got mine, but you didn't get yours. Until and then, like the end of the month. Yeah, so we did the video just with mine and then, you know, your box came later on. So I said this time, let's just wait and see until the two boxes showed up. Let's give it a, a couple of days. Yeah. And next thing you know, my box showed up and we're here to check it out. It's Christmas. <sighs> All right. I'm always excited for these boxes. I'm, 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 I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I, I really am. I don't know what to expect. So... Do you want to go first? Yeah. Since your box showed up first, I think o it's only fair. Also, because I've been losing all the months. Yeah, you've been losing quite a bit, I'm yeah. just saying. You're, uh, on the, my, you're on a losing streak. My peak was the Sepultura uh, DVD. CD. CD. All right. So, uh, you want to start off with the, the pin. Woo. Slayer. By the way, if there's one thing that makes every single day better, it's Slayer. So, the day just got better yeah. with Slayer. By the way, if you guys are wondering why we both wear ginger shirts... We're going to the show today, so that's why we're wearing ginger shirts. Uh, we're not trying to be twins or anything like that. We're just going to the show. All right, so you got the ginger pin. I uh, mean, ginger, ginger, ginger pin. The Slayer pin, so uh, my mind is on ginger. All right, so let me see what I got. I got, well, I got the same pin. Slayer. This is going on my vest. Yeah, this is a cool one, too. This is a really cool one. I really like it. And and uh, the, the the devil is a little bit of a douchebag because he's got a little bit of a... A mohawk. No, not only that, it's, it's bleached. His hair is bleached. It's a little bit douchey. It's like the, I the Roman say, anuses. Yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a, the Roman anuses. Yeah, you know, bleaching, bleaching anuses. <laughs> All right, you lost me there for a minute. Anyways, a little bit douchey with a, with a, with a blonde streak. All right, I, I'm going next. Yeah. Oh, this looks interesting. Wow, Iron Maiden figurines. Look at this. This is freaking yeah, cool. Like this is this is really cool. This is actually amazing. Collect them all. Oh, there's different series. Well, well they also have you got? I think we got the same. No. Oh. I think we got the same guys. Well, so we can add them to the You know what? I, I'm gonna open one mm -hmm. so we can play with them. But the other one I'm gonna leave it in the box as like a collector's item. Wow. Yeah, it's the trooper Eddie, Peace of Mind Eddie, and then Killers Eddie. But they also have aliens. Lucha Libre. Well, wow, Masters of the Universe. That's interesting. Oh my god. Yeah. But anyways, we're here. We're, we're checking it. Oh, this is great. For ages eight and up. So it's both. It's good for the two of us. Yeah. All right. So we're good. We're good with this. This is really cool. Three little figurines. Definitely opening one up. But I'm not opening both. I think we need. No, to we need to keep one in the box. Actually, I'm gonna put Velcro on one of them, and I'm gonna put it on your wall as a collector's item. By the way, one of these days we have to do a vlog of your room. Because my room is like it's wall to wall. All right. Uh, is it your turn now? Because yeah. I, I took that. All right. That's badass, though. That is badass. I was not expecting Iron Maiden figurines. Okay. You see? All right. I'm not even gonna try to. Yeah. Let me do. <laughs> is it cancer? Is it? Oh, I think it is. It is. Oh. I was gonna say I'm not even gonna try to read it. But I saw the, the C. Oh, yeah. I think it's cancer, definitely. Oh, man. That is badass. Well, why didn't I get that shirt? All right. Let me see what my shirt brings. I, I, I hope it's not Five Finger Death Punch. Oh, if it's Five Finger Death Punch. Oh, if it's Five Finger Death Punch. Oh, I, 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 right away. oh I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to punch somebody. Somebody's going to cry tonight, and it's not going to be me. I really hope it's not that. I don't think the metalhead box would send me a Five Finger. I, that would be the ultimate troll. You know the ultimate troll if I'm sending you a Nickelback shirt? If the metalhead box even has Nickelback shirts, I think I, I think that's a step backwards for them. I, yeah. I I honestly think I think they would have to revisit the whole business plan of theirs if they have a Nickelback shirt on part of their metalhead. If they send people a Nickelback shirt, that mm -hmm. person would unsubscribe immediately. So I don't think they would do that. All right. Ooh, is this what I think it is? Is yeah. this a set of angels? Yeah. You know how much I love this yeah, band. Yeah, yeah. You know how much I love this band. 
You said their albums. Their their like... album, their their album that they released this year, uh, Years of Aggression, in my top ten list right now for best album of the year. I'm, I'm not saying they're the best album of the year, but they're in my top, top ten. 10. A lot of top ten is hard to get. It's hard. I, I'm I'm honestly, as far as thrash metal albums are concerned, this year to me there were two great ones: was the album Humanicide from Death Angel and and Years of Aggression from Suicidal Angels. This one to me is one step like, like, a, a knuckle above Death Angel, a knuckle above. One of my favorite albums. I cannot get enough. Born of Hate. That track is killer. Years of Aggression. Even. You know, that one, that one is that killer. One is yeah, they're killer. I'm I'm so happy that this is my shirt. Wow. I, I was a little bit jealous when you got that one, yeah. but now I'm not jealous anymore because that I'm, wow. This is incredible. All right, my turn because you took the yeah. shirts off first. All right, let me see the CDs. So I have Crypt Sermon and Il I Il Il I can I can't fucking read. This I got this. I, I can't honestly. I can't read. Uh, that one looks cool though. Transcending obscurity. Wow, it does sound. It does look cool. It does look cool. This one looks kind of cool too. Wow, interesting. I honestly, I've, I haven't heard of these bands, so these are bands that I'm gonna have to to check it out for sure. So these are the two CDs that I got. What did you get? Let me see. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out the name of the band. Oh, Hemotoxin. Biological enslavement. Wow, that is. If there's a badass name for an album, that's gonna yeah, be a badass be name it. for an album. Let me see this one. The Fuhrer, uh, C Cavalries of the Occult. Oh, interesting. I had never heard of either of these bands either, and neither have you. So uh, some new, some new shit for us to check out. Yeah. All right. So I took the C. So now you go next. What is this? There's a pouch. Yeah. See the pouch, because that's good for sandwiches. When you're going to concerts and you want to smuggle some food in, which we never do, by the way. Is that a bag? I think it's a bag. Oh, carnivore retaliation. That is badass. Let me see. I, I got a. I got a bag too. I'm assuming it's the, the same. same one. These bags are good. They're also good for those of you that live in Canada. You know, weed is legal now. The oh shit! I just ripped mine. There goes the idea of using it as a weed baggie. But not that I smoke. Actually, I don't smoke at no. all. But I'm just giving the idea to those of you that do smoke. This would be a very good way of transporting said merchandise. And and then if the merchandise gets really out of hand, you can use the bag yeah. to put it in. And then at that time, I think you would be considered a smuggler. Because then you go from personal usage to possibly selling it and, and transporting it illegally in one of these wonderful carnivore retaliation bags. I mean, if you're going to get arrested for transporting weed, it has been a lot of these. might as well be it in one of these, I would say. Or right. the King Diamond one. Oh, the King... Uh, during Halloween, during the month of October, yes. If you're going to get caught transporting weed illegally, definitely the King Diamond bag. Outside of that, you can use this. Outside of that, I think you can use carnivore. All right. Uh, I'm next, right? Because you took the yeah. bag. All right. So the next is a special tribute patch, Death. This patch is amazing. absolutely glorious. Look at the design. It's actually probably one of the bigger patches we've gotten. The, the only issue with patches right now is I don't have any more space in my vest. I think I want to start a second vest. I think you should start a second vest. Well, or my, my my idea was to buy a, a school bag and, and, and patch it up. Yeah, maybe maybe that. I I just have way too many patches and now I don't have room for them. But this is really really cool. All right. Last but not least, it's you. But it's the same. It's an autograph. Yeah. Matt Harvey from Exhumed, yes, and Gruesome, and Pounder. Man, this guy's in more bands than Mikhail Salo. No. <laughs> Just I, I That's went, impossible. You know, yesterday I read his Twitter impossible. bio, and... <laughs> this Twitter bio is like a Bible. Yeah. yeah. It's like as thick as the Bible. All right. I'm like, I think he's missing some. It's incredible that we find a way to get him in every single video. We, we do more promo for that guy than, I, I don't know, like, I mean... We definitely deserve a cut whenever he he makes it, whenever he goes big. By the way, I don't know if you guys realize this watching at home. I don't know if you realize this, but this is the first autograph that we've received in a Metalhead box, I would say, in the last three, four months. I think There so. hasn't been any autographs in the Metalhead box for at least three to four months. So this is the first one in a long time. It's a really cool one. Really nice one. Can I add it to the, the wall? Uh, yeah, yeah. We've, been, we've been framing them and adding them to the wall. All right, guys. So this is it. Autograph. Death patch. The baggie for, for the El Rito that ripped the, 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 the CDs. The Devil's Lettuce. 
the the bag that you can use to transport it from your legal supplier i think one of my favorite things this has got to be one of my favorite things yeah uh the slayer pin uh, the, the the fact that the the devil has a little bit of a douchebag haircut kind of ruins it a little bit for me i must say um yeah. but this definitely is one of the highlights of this month's box this is without a shadow of a doubt one of the highlights of this month's box and then not to be outdone this t-shirt is absolutely balls so absolutely incredible. who won this month well I, I guess it depends for me i won because i'm a huge suicidal angels yeah. fan i love their new album i mean i keep talking about the new album to you so to me i think i won but uh any other month any other shirt i would say you won because uh i, I love the the stuff that you got and i love that shirt that shirt is amazing all right guys this is it for today now we can uh go to the show yeah. we have a show to go to all right so we'll see you guys at the next video take care guys see, ya. see ya.